this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a logo slash the ape logo that you can see here. So first of all, what I did was got an image from Google. So I just typed in gorilla face and then I went for this one here. So this is just like an example to show you how Bape make their logos. This isn't the exact way they make their logos, but I mean, this is like a good way to break their logos down. Open that in Photoshop. And then I've downloaded the uh, Ape PNG. Open that in Photoshop as well. And then what I'm going to do is just grab that, put that over there, and then stretch out. It's roughly around there. So really, all they've done in this logo is they've highlighted the dominant features of the face of the gorilla, basically. So the main features are the snout here. Obviously, the eyes are very indented. And then you've got the highlighted part on the top of the head. So if I lay that back over, you've got the highlighted top of the head there. You've got the nose, nostrils, and then you've got like a mouth part here. So yeah, it's exactly the same for the original Bape Head logo. I've already done this one in Photoshop just to save time. So again, I got this image off of Google Gorilla Head. It will most likely be on the first page. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. If I flip this around, I will just rotate this to get it in a similar angle to the Bape logo. So it's roughly about there. So yeah, again, this is a PNG. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as the Ape logo. It's highlighted the main part. So above the eyes, You've got that highlighted part, then you've got the nose and you've got the mouth. Exactly the same with both logos. I'm going to draw this so I can explain it a bit better. It's not the easiest to explain in Photoshop, so yeah. Got the badges, I'm a I'm a G. Got the right cause I'm a genie. Watch the other man a tree do. Tree do, tree do, tree do, tree do. She's a fighter, she's a keeper. So, yeah, as you can see, it's very rough, but this line sits just above the eyes. It highlights that bit above the forehead. Then you've got the nose here. You've got the overall sort of. I really don't know the name for this. I should really learn that, but I'm not going to. Then you've got like the mouth here. And then this chin part. That's a physical breakdown of the shapes Ape have used. So now let's give it a go of making our own version of this using the same method. Cool. So for the next part, you're going to need to find an animal because obviously that's their main point of their logo. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use a chipmunk. So I'm going to use this picture right here and drag that into Photoshop. And then literally it's the same process as we did with the gorilla. So this being overlaid, um, it's going to be kind of difficult to do on a PC. So I'm actually going to do this free handed using the acetate sheet to show you guys in a simpler way. To the piss of these assistants, the tracks cover all my shit. Man, I got a keys to the road. Man, I got a keys to the road. Dragons, get an idea for the swords. Man, I spit flames like I'm swell. Seven. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna use this as a sort of guide for the circle. I'm gonna spin this around to get a more accurate shape instead of trying to draw it myself. Uh, I'm also making copies of this because uh, I think I'm just going to use different parts of the logo and just sort of rotate them and put them in the right place. Uh, it's just a quicker way to do it, but you can just draw around it with the pen tool and then start colouring it in. Oh, drag. I'm raw, raw, I'm raw, pure, no backy, bold, oh, no lacky. Got the badges, I'm elite. Got the badges, I'm elite. Then after you've done this, you can delete the background image and you are left with this. I think the circle's a bit off-centered. The circle could be moved a bit to the... Yeah, there you go. That should be cool. We'll just fill these parts in here. So there you have it. That's pretty much how you would to recreate the Ape logo. 
that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If you guys want to see me recreate another logo, maybe the Bape Head logo, comment below. And yeah, man, more flame videos coming. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, uh, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to see you in the next video. It's lit! I'm